Winnie. Are you ready to go to work? <laughs> I feel that. Got my other helper here. We're gonna be putting the stump bucket on, removing a few stumps. So we're gonna get rid of the mower so we can maneuver a little better in the woods. So, putting on the Spico hitch is pretty easy. I just raise up my three-point arms to about knee height. Then I pick up the hitch and I set it on there just so it doesn't fall off. And that way I don't have to work all the way on the ground. But I only put the one in that you saw. I had already put one in before just to make sure it didn't fall off and couldn't exactly one-hand it. But then I put the top one in the top link. And I'll make the adjustments once I back into this, into the box blade. So what I'm going to do here is just drop it down low enough so it's under the pins. And I'm going to back up to it, make contact as long as, as long as my side to side is okay. Make contact, push it back a little just to make sure I'm fully under both. And then I'll pick it up and then I can adjust the top link if I need to, to make sure when I slide the pin through the top of the box blade that I don't hit the hitch. Here's just a little up close look at the top link and the bottom pin. The handle you saw controls that safety latch so the implement doesn't pop out of the speed hitch.
been reading the Chronicles of Narnia and we kind of set this up as well if you've read it you know the uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe I don't know kids think it's funny So you're not seeing the stump bucket rip out tons of huge stumps like you might have thought which we will have it try some of that later but right now we are just trying to clear the invasive species out of this forest so harvestable timber can grow without being drowned out this is part of a classified forest and our local soil and wildlife, whatever this guy's name, not DNR, but 
Uh, he comes out and walks it once or twice a year with my dad and talks things over and points out invasive species. And we do have more. We have a honeysuckle um, bush. And he noticed that we have, he called it the mother, the mother tree, the mother bush. And that's the biggest thing we rip out at the end, which is actually... They don't have a very elaborate root system, but they it's a lot bigger than the rest of these, so we will get some more footage of this thing, maybe doing a little a little tougher work, but we like the versatility of it. So we're not using a full bucket tearing up a lot more of the ground. And we're also not having to turn around back in with the backhoe every time and even with the backhoe it seems like you can't use the weight of the tractor to rip the stumps up so it just it struggles a little more I mean all these stuff it would take care of but it's just we're just trying to show how versatile it is and removing some smaller things and we can get to the strength of it later I have no doubts in the strength of the bucket. I don't know how useful those teeth will be as, as deep as they get, but we can get some footage out later. We got plenty of stumps around. Get the stump. Get it. Get it. Oh. Yeah, she she did decide to come work. that honeysuckle bush that was pointed out to us that he called the mother where a lot of the little ones stem from it's the mother I presume um, it's a lot bigger we actually have a couple dead trees right around us that we're kind of watching to make sure no widow makers fall down but see he tried to get under it a lot more that time you can see the wheels spinning I mean that's about two or three times bigger than any of the rest of the clumps we've got see it doesn't have a super extensive root system but it's still it's that's pretty large that's filling up a third of the bucket that's probably 10 feet tall that spans probably 20 feet. Like, subscribe, check back for more later. Thanks for coming along.